Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, going back in for another Alliance War. This is War number 6 in Season 30. Um, we're about halfway through the season and uh, we're doing alright. So uh, my assignment today is to go up Path 8 in Section 1 and Path 7 in Section 2. Um, on Path 8 we have Node number 8. It's got Buff and Balance, Power Drain, Return Policy, so you don't want a Nullifier. Um, Divine Barrier and Passive Hit Block. So, um, Human Torch is an excellent option for Vision Arcus. Now, this is an Awakened Vision Arcus, so I do have to make sure that the parries, those stuns actually um, land. Um, they can get shrugged off there. We push them to L2 because he's kind of being a little bit stingy. We're doing short combos, medium light and mediums. We block the L2 to build some smolder. And temperature. I'm not really going to go into any heavies because the, by the time that I um, realize that the stun has stuck or not, I feel like doing a heavy is kind of risky. And it would be really nice to have a white magneto pre fight on this, but it's alright. So here we do have an invulnerability boost on. We just go for it. Special two kills them off. Lost a little, uh, little, a little bit of chip damage, but nothing too, nothing too big to deal with. Um, and now here is an interesting fight. So. We're going up against the Sigil Witch. Um, it's basically all the same nodes, except instead of return policy by nullifying a buff, we just have blood in the water. So pretty, pretty simple, but check out the blood in the water and the poison in the water. This guy placed with suicides. And we were so surprised. And you're gonna see that this just makes the fight go so much faster. Again, we're not we're not pre-fighting this or anything like that. Um, we get to a uh, special two and we just go for it and all that poison and bleed damage help take her down super quick super easy fight never saw a special from that sigil witch yeah so i was so surprised i actually mentioned it into the war chat and um, xmx guys you know i'm not trying to get somebody in trouble but um, if, if somebody plays suicides on my defense i would really want to know about it in the season but yeah now we're going up past seven in section two. We have a rank three apocalypse on this spike and rise to power node. You can see now I'm restarting the game. So I restart the game every time I go in and I did, but when I moved up to that node, it was really wonky as far as like moving up. And so I just didn't trust what was going on. Backed out. I do have a power star one boost on. I have mystic boost on and he kind of just went into a heavy. I did trigger dex. He got some power gain but not a big deal. He's not ever going to throw a special attack. Magic will keep him locked down pretty much the whole fight. Not pretty much. He will be locked down the entire fight. And um, yeah, we're getting some decent power back. And I think, I think you know, we do give him a little bit of power here. We're going to let him build some power so we can steal more on this next L2 and help us cycle a little bit better. But this is a very simple fight. Um, we were debating on who to use. Originally, I was going to have Warlock on the team, but we had to change some things up to, you know, for a mini island. And we just decided that even though Magic is a is a five star, um, she would just be really great for this fight. And then the aspect of Evolution uh, Special Two mini boss. So that's what I got assigned with, and that's what I'm rolling with. And, you know, it took about a minute and a half, which isn't too terrible. Very simple, straightforward. Get to your special two, lock it down. Mystic Boost keep, lets you keep cycling. And yeah, rank three Apocalypse goes down in 90 hits. And then next up, we put on a pre-fight Flame On. We put on a Mr. Fantastic Petrify and Suppress. And we're going to go into this Ebony Maw. He's got Aspect of Evolution, Kinetic Transference. The Petrify is going to help reduce the Kinetic Transference there. I was dumb. I tried to parry and heavy to try to refresh those uh, Mr. Fantastic pre-fights. Um, didn't happen. And they are going to fall off. I did try to heavy there right at the end. And he, he stuck me one with his L1. Luckily, I didn't have any buffs on yet and before he can throw another special he's already dead and i'm pretty big boosted i got 30 percent boost on um, for those two fights and 
yeah, we took it out fairly easily. And the next bite, I do apply the Petrify and Suppress onto this Mojo. And my teammate going up Path 9 right now in that Dragon Man, Ultima Theory, he has a pre-fight torch. He hasn't used it yet. Um, so he's going to apply Flame on and he's going to take the fight um, and use his torch. I've done that fight before and it's been okay. So he takes it down, does a great job. Tell him, hey, solid work there. And then last up, in the morning we wake up and I have the left side mini boss um, ready to go. So I apply it back on more Mystic Boosts. I apply the Power Start 1 boost. It's got Aspect of Evolution, Improved Power Gain, Enhanced Special 2, Special 2 Bias. We don't ever want to get this guy to throw a special. So we're going to get there first. And this is the guy that has Suicides. But check this out. So I get to the Special 2. I throw it. I steal a bunch of power. No Power Locks. So there is like an 85% chance with magic that she will get the power locks and she gets two hits on the special. You can see I ate a ton of damage right there, but I was in limbo and when this limbo finally wears off, back to full health. But yeah, it was kind of crazy. I, I was so thrown off because I'm like, wait a second, I stole the power, but he's not power locked. Um, kind of freaking out there a little bit, took a hit for it. But this guy's got suicide, so he's 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 melting just as is, and I think this fight doesn't even last a minute. Um, and without suicides, it would have it would have been a lot longer. So, um, thank you for the suicides, um, Mr. Seven Seven Seven. And uh, yeah, that was all my assignment for the war, and we're gonna showcase the boss, um, which is. Uh, Demps 928 he's our ghoster in the group and we decided we wanted to ghost this with the hazard shift up because Nova was on um, the hazard shift mini and we just felt like that could be slightly problematic and it would just make that fight plus a few other fights um, easier which we you know sometimes we'll leave up a lane or two if we don't need somebody on the island to take out the uh, high ground node and this is a high ground defender and so you got to watch out for those charges you know if you take any blocks he does have to watch out um, that he's not phasing on the special one so that he doesn't get power drained from modox uh, you know special drain that he does on he reverses healing and power gain on a special one and i think he did get drained on one of them a little bit but uh yeah, Demp's doing a great job here, and we're, he's about to finish him off. I think one more hit, and he's down, and so that kind of helps open up the map. And as far as a battle group, we did fairly well at this war. I think we had two deaths. Yeah, we had two deaths, and every every battle group had two deaths. So we ended up with six, which is which is decent. I know we can do better, um, but we did end up winning the war. Uh, they died a quite a bit towards the end. Um, XMX, they put up a decent fight. This does push us to four and two on the season, and we're in Masters rank 10 overall. It shows seven on the board, but then you got the top three guys, so in Masters, we're number 10. And on the, on the war, in my assignment, five fights, five kills, no deaths. 33 fights on the season, 33 kills, no deaths. And yeah, we're sitting in Masters halfway through, 4-2, and two, exactly where we want to be. I know we, we, we tied one war and lost on time, so we could have been 5-1. and one. But yeah, here's my little collage of all the defenders that I've taken out, um, and all my attackers. Torch is getting the most work. And yeah, we're, uh, we're, pretty, we're pretty happy we're at. This is the leaderboard. GT40, they are undefeated, I believe, tearing it up. Uh, Black Mama's number two and TCN's number three. They did get docked last season. Um, and yeah, here's the rest of the leaderboard. So we're at the very bottom of that first bracket in Masters. Here's the second bracket. And then I'll let the other parts of the bracket play on. And you can see where everybody's placed. Um, just for historical reference. If I need to ever come back and look at where everybody was at. But yeah, the season's going good. Could be better, but overall we're happy. And we just hope that we can have a similar back half of the season and just lock this in 
and get that master's uh, uh, position. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.